Hi, my name is Natalie, and in this tutorial, we are going to explore the Gemini function calling functionality with the Rick and Morty API. Our goal is to build an expert agent about Rick and Morty that can answer questions about that TV series with factual information. To do this, we'll use the Rick and Morty API and Gemini Flash. Let's get started. We'll be working in Google Colab, so let's install the Google Cloud AI platform library. Function calling is a Gemini functionality where we can provide a set of defined functions. Based on the prob received, Gemini will decide whether to use the provided functions to generate the response. The final response will be also be provided in a friendly natural language. You can find more information in Google's Gemini documentation. Let's start by importing some basic libraries. Now, we'll start adding the calls for the Rick and Morty API. In the documentation, we can see all the methods it contains. We'll primarily use the methods to search for characters, locations, and episodes. We can call the functions with some parameters to perform the search. The documentation shows the schema of the output format. We'll start by creating a general function that will parse the parameters and add them to the API URL. Now we can define the functions to call the three different search methods. Let's start with characters. Here we essentially parse the received parameters and call the character method. We'll do the same with locations and episodes. For example, when we call the search for a character function with the following parameters, the function will give us the response in the following format. We are going to continue with the Vertex AI configuration. Let's start importing the required libraries. We need to authenticate our notebook with our GCP project. We also need the project ID and the project location. I already have these values in the secret section of Google Colab. Now, let's define the function calling configuration. We need to create three distinct functions definition to inform Gemini when the model should call a function. Let's begin with the first one search for a character. Please note that we are adding underscore func at the end. Let's declare the function specifying its name, next we need to add a description, provide all the essential information related to the function so the model knows when to invoke it. Then, define each parameter the function receives one by one. For example, for the status, we are informing the model of all possible value, values, alive, dead, or unknown. If you have some parameters that are required, you can specify them here. We'll follow the same process for locations and episodes. Remember that the parameters for each function are different. Now we can create a tool that includes the three functions we just defined. Now we are going to configure the model to start using the functions we previously defined. Here you can see that we are defining a variable called model we're using Gemini Flash 
and as a parameter, we are sending the tools within the previously defined functions. Now we are going to start our chat with the model. Here we are going to define some, some auxiliary functions to call the functions when necessary. We have defined a function called Gemini API that will receive a prompt. Based on the prompt's content, it will decide whether to call a function or not. When we need to call a function, call a function will be executed. Let's see how it works. This function received the model's response and first it will look for the function name and then it will extract the arguments. We are parsing both the function name and the arguments. So we might have something like this, where we have the function name and the arguments or parameters within parentheses. The eval statement will execute the function. We'll send the function response back to Gemini. If Gemini determines that we need to make another function call, we'll make this function recursive. If another function call isn't required, we'll directly return the response. Now we can proceed to the prompt execution. In some cases, we might call multiple functions before providing a response. For example, here we have a question related to the number of residents in the location of the first character who appears in the first episode. As you can see in the result, the model calls multiple functions before providing the response. First, it calls the episode functions, then the character function, and finally, the loca location function. It combines the information from all the three results to generate a natural language response. Gemini will receive the user prompt and determine if it needs information from a character, location, or episode. If so, it will call one of the three defined functions. Otherwise, it will generate its own response. Let's start asking questions about characters, locations, and episodes in natural language. For example, in the following question about Rick Sanchez, you can see that the model is calling the search for character function with the Rick Sanchez name parameter. The final response is in natural language. Gemini counted all the items within the episode array. In the second question, we can see the name of the episode. With this new prompt, you can see that Gemini is calling the getCharacter function with the beta Smith parameter. Let's ask a question about a different character, Jean. You can see the response also in natural language. Now let's ask a question about a different location, Citadel of Riggs. Here you can see that the location function is being called. 
However, the model couldn't determine the number of episodes. Reviewing the results, I couldn't find the episodes array. So, the model response is correct. Finally, let's ask for the first episode of the second season. The episode function will be called. You can see that Gemini is also inferring the format of the name of the episode and it provides the name of the episode. Now let's ask a generic question. Here we can see that the model doesn't call any definite function and generate its own response. Function calling is a game changing feature you can use it with your own functions or APIs. It's really simple to use. Thanks for watching. Follow for more content.